Hey, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to be doing something yummy and I grew up on this stuff and I kind of wanted to try some new vegetables into my diet and today I found this lovely vegetable that I grew up on and I used to eat it all the time. My parents cooked it all the time. So the recipe is miswa Patola soup. That's known as silk squash or ribbed loofah. So um, let me show it to you. So this is what it is. And this is considered a vegetable. And this is really long. They come long. This one was a nice find at the store, at the Filipino store. You could probably find it at Asian stores too. But the American name, the English name is silk squash or rib lufa so <laughs> you'll see me peel it okay so the recipe goes like this one tablespoon of oil one sliced onion two cloves of garlic one half pound ground turkey or ground pork three cups of water one to two teaspoons of salt three medium patola, but um, the one I showed you is about the size of three mediums, okay? So one large one or three medium, and then four ounces of miswa noodles, which is wheat noodles, or today I have bean thread noodles, so you could choose which noodle you want. So let's get to cooking. All right, let me just go ahead and put it down here and start to cook. Okay, one tablespoon of oil, one onion, there you go, there is my sliced onion, okay. two cloves of garlic, my two cloves of garlic, one half pound ground pork or ground turkey. So here is my ground, one half pound ground turkey is what I have today. Okay. One to two teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of salt. I could always add the other teaspoon later, but let's start with one teaspoon of salt. So all we need to do is stir this up a little bit and get the vegetable, the water, and the noodles in. So I'm just gonna slowly cook that. So this is part of the vegetable and this is what it looks like peeled. Okay. So here is, I peeled half of it here. All right. So this is kind of tricky. What you gotta do, okay, is just, you see this rib part right here? You gotta take all of that off because it's practically inedible. When you eat it, it'll be too, um, too tough on the mouth to eat so I am just going to vigorously peel it right here see how much I can get off and so they're also delicate too so no biggie if it breaks in half we're still going to use it because we're going to slice these in little slices round little slices So if you have a big peeler, vegetable peeler, that might work faster. Okay. 
Oh yeah, this is a great challenge to peel this. <laughs> okay. Maybe if you put more pressure on it, you might get them off, thicker pieces off. Alright, so that is, that's kind of good for that one. Okay, and this is what it looks like on the inside. That's the other side. And we are going to tear this one around just a little bit. Try to make the, the meat a little bit small so that it is easy to eat in the soup. Kind of cut up the meat with your spoon here. Okay, here we go. Here's the second half. You can grate it against something to get a better hold of it and peel it better. other half. Okay, so I am going to slice it. Into little circles here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my water, my three cups of water. Give that three cups of water and a hot zap in the microwave so that when I put it in the soup, it cooks faster so the video is not super long. Okay, so here is my vegetable here. So I'm going to cut off the end that I don't need with that. And then I'm just going to keep cutting thin slices. So the water, 
I just put it in the microwave, like I said, so it can heat up faster. But um, of course, if you're not doing the video, you can heat up your water here in the stir fry pan, okay? So the water should be done. good so far. All I really need to add now is the noodles. Okay, so let me grab the noodles. So today, for this soup, I'm going to use vermicelli bean thread noodle. But of course, Niswa is a type of noodle and that's where it gets its name and that is the wheat noodle. But today we are just gonna replace it, but you can definitely use Miswa, the wheat noodle. But if you have vermicelli bean thread, it'll give this, the same feel, the same taste. It doesn't change the taste at all. The Miswa noodle might be a little bit thicker, but I really, really love the bean thread vermicelli noodle. It's like so tongue home. about four ounces and then we're just gonna let all of that cook so if I need to add more water I will it won't really change the taste because I could tell that this is absorbing a lot of the water Okay, and this, these noodles, they don't have to cook long, less than five minutes. Let's go ahead and just let it keep absorbing. And the lupa looks like it's cooking well. one more teaspoon of salt because I could tell that one teaspoon is not enough. But if you are salt sensitive, just add what you're comfortable with.
think it's about done. The noodles look done. We are gonna turn it off in a second here. And you know, some of us have really, really high tolerance taste buds, I guess is what you would call it. So if you want to put some, if you want to put some fish sauce in it after it has cooked, you could do that too because Filipinos love fish sauce. But I usually don't put fish sauce in the whole dish. I wait until I get my individual plate and put fish sauce if I need it. But that is a ultimate favorite, favorite dish for sure. So let me get this on a plate and bring it up to you. Vegetables looking good and healthy, just like I wanted it. With just a small amount of protein to help fill you up for the day. Alright, so here it is. Niswa Patola Soup. Doesn't that look delicious? So that is one tablespoon of oil. Okay, I got my little cheat sheet here. One tablespoon of oil, one onion, two cloves of garlic, one half pound ground pork or turkey, four cups of water. So I originally started with three, but I added one more cup of water and two teaspoons of salt is what I ended up with instead of just one. And then the very large patola, and then the four ounces of vermicelli instead of misua. So um, you can definitely, whatever you have, go ahead and use. So the idea is getting that soup and noodles that everybody loves so much. So there you go. Doesn't that look delicious? All right. So thank you for listening. And I hope that you try this one day and let me know how it goes. Take care.